15 on your side weather deck is sponsored by Montel Construction, your home team. Welcome back to 13 on your side. I'm meteorologist Samantha Jacks outside on the weather deck this morning. Probably could have used to have a light jacket on and some of you will even want to grab the umbrella as you walk out the door as we do have chances for rainfall lingering in the forecast as well as some breezy conditions giving that little extra chill to the air. Starting things off here with our weather ball. It is currently blinking green as we have no change for seen in temperatures but also additional chances for showers and storms in sight. The 13 Weather Ball is sponsored by LaFontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. A current look at our satellite and radar. The low pressure system that yesterday was sitting in the Quad Cities region is now working its way through Illinois. We're going to continue to see it sit and spin there, which is why we will see continuous chances for rainfall throughout the morning to mid afternoon hours and then again later on this evening. As we track throughout your Thursday, though, we'll start to see that low pressure system glide off to the east and to the south of us, and that will eventually end this damp and dreary pattern and eventually break us into a really sunny stretch that's expected to last for several days. A tighter look here at our satellite and radar. Those of you stretching from Oceana counties through northern Muskegon and up into Mason County experiencing some rainfall this morning, and we even had additional thunderstorms work their way through Kalamazoo along the 96 corridors. We're still currently underneath dry conditions, but that could change periodically throughout the day today as isolated showers are expected to be on and off between now and noon. A light sprinkle certainly possible between noon to let's say seven o'clock tonight, but overnight hours tonight and into early tomorrow morning present our next little wave of rainfall. After very early tomorrow morning, we're talking about 6 a.m. We are expecting drier skies to build into place and then sunshine to take hold as we track into Thursday evening, stretching all the way Friday through the weekend as well. In terms of our rainfall totals, if you're looking for some impressive amounts on a widespread scale, that's not going to be the case today. Majority of the region is going to sit at around a tenth of an inch to two tenths of an inch of rainfall, but we could see a couple isolated thunderstorm cells set up once again today, similar to yesterday. If that is the case, we will once again squeeze out some higher rainfall totals. I think if that happens, it will be in that same spot, same portion of the region that experienced heavy rainfall yesterday from Kalamazoo and stretching into southwestern portions of Allegan County. In addition to chances for rainfall, we continue on with a breezy forecast with winds gusting near about 30 miles per hour all day long. Lakeshore communities today temperature wise upper 60s to low 70s. We're starting off our morning in the upper 50s, but with this breeze, it does feel a little bit cooler outside, so make sure you grab the jacket for the kiddos. The rest of your 13 on your side 10 day forecast. <coughs> You won't need the jacket by the weekend. We climb back into the upper 70s to low 80s for multiple days. 